Hey, it cares. Just Jewel with a Lana Knife, and today I'll be reviewing the We Eat Alone. Very interesting name to start off. Um, it does come in a few different versions. Now, this one is the dagger style type blade. They have also in, in like a drop point. Comes in the blackout and the gray, and then in the drop point they have a satin finish black, satin finish gray. And then there's also a drop point one with carbon fiber handle and a satin finish. We have the blackout dagger style one. So, five different versions, just keep in mind. Overall, this knife is 6.58 inches with a 2.86 CPM 20 CV black stone wash steel blade. As I mentioned, this is the dagger one. Single edge though, not double sided, so you can close the blade. Because if it was double sided, you wouldn't be able to close the knife. Plain edge, flat grind, Blade is about 0 0.625 inches in width, 0 0.12 in thickness. As you saw there, it is opened with the, I want to say a top front flipper, or just a top flipper, which as anyone knows me or C from AK Blade, we're not crazy about front flippers, but they seem to be the craze as of right now, so we're just giving you reviews of them. Now, uh, this one also came out in 2021, much as the Civivi Lumi, which, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. But it, too, is a front flipper, and it's very similar in size and design, which makes sense because both the Civivi Lumi and this one, the We Eat Alone, were both designed by Justin Lundquist. So, he must have a thing for front flippers. So this one does have stainless steel liners. They match the finish on this version. It's black stainless uh, stone wash. There's a right tip of pocket clip. Same finish as everything else. No lanyard hole on this one. But I do like the little pivot cap accent that they put here. It's gray on this one. Handle is G10. But as I mentioned, it does come in a few different options. There's a carbon fiber and then a gray G10. So the black G10 integral handle is pretty nice to hold. It does lack a little bit of texture, but it does have some detailing here on the edges to give you a little bit of a grip. I do think they could have added a little more texturing. As I mentioned, I do like the dagger style. I like it more than the drop point because it's just different and I like dagger style blades much like the EOS Thresher although I believe that one was double sided but it was a fixed blade so it makes sense that you would make a double sided fixed blade not a folder because that would hurt if you had to close it. So there it is. Very straightforward design from Justin. He's a pretty well-known uh, knife designer. I can't think of any, you know, super popular ones off the top of my head right now, but he's pretty big. I'm sure if you put in Justin Luckwin's knives, you'll get tons of results. So, I'm sure we have a few different reviews of him. Very symmetrical design, very smooth action. As I mentioned, I'm not crazy about front flippers, but it does work, it does engage, it does cut. So, serves its purpose, obviously. And if you're really into like a simple design, this is the one for you. I think it only weighs 2.3 ounces, so very easy to carry around. Comes with a black nylon pouch, and of course, a cleaning cloth. I also think it comes with a sticker, so. Not one of my favorite new designs from Wii for 2021, but some people out there I'm sure are like, wow, that is a gorgeous, simple design. I'd love to have it. I mean, I like aspects of it. And it does cut and it does open, so you really can't complain. So. Make sure to check out Elena Knife on all our social media pages like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, and Instagram. We're also on Rumble now, so check out all our videos. We got 
pictures of like knives and gear. We also do giveaways, so got something for everyone. As always, I am Just Jewel with a Lant Knife. This was the We Eat Alone, and I am signing off.